my name is Richard Johnke and I'm a member here at Colonial Church. I have a, a story that I want to tell you that was happened to me and I'm so happy I can share this story with you because Colonial Church has is a big part of this story. So my story began back in 2008 when the Great Recession hit and the, the economy hit rock bottom. I worked in commercial real estate at the time and tenants started closing their doors. So the leasing commissions that I earned in the shopping center leasing business dried up, uh, which uh, caused anxiety. And I found myself waking up in the morning at 2 a.m and not getting back to sleep. And this insomnia uh, would make my mind race with worry and anxiety about my job and money. And what started with insomnia morphed into anxiety. And uh, so now I'm, I am depressed and I'm not earning any leasing commissions. And my wife, Lisa, uh, she's been, she was so good. She, feels she has to pick up the slack and uh, she starts working 75 to 85 hours a week and our relationship was strained and our marriage was strained and my self-image of the family provider and breadwinner was toast. Then what happens is I went over the edge and I had a nervous breakdown and my wife Lisa checks me into the hospital for a 10 day stay and now it's 2011 and my employer of 22 years informs me that my services are no longer needed. And uh, what seems to be a devastating last nail in my coffin is actually the turning point of my story here. So now I, I don't have a job and I meet an old friend, a fantastic friend, a friend of mine, Bruce, who he picks me up with his car and takes me skiing at Buck Hill. And, and uh, we start mountain biking together and having fun. Uh, and, and that was just really wonderful. God sent me a friend and it was then I started healing. What happened is I started listening to Christian radio and reading Christian books. And, and at one point, this is like a, an epiphany and a re revelation that I had. I was lying in bed and I felt this wave of love wash over me. And it wasn't like anything I had ever experienced before. But I, I knew that the that it was the love of God that I was experiencing at that moment for the first time. And if I can try to put it into words, it was like, if human love is here, then God's love is infinitely uh, greater than human love. And it, like from that moment on, everything changed for me. So, so it was, I, I was born again by the Holy Spirit in that moment. And, and I felt this wave of love, just incredible. Uh, it was so tangible. But I came to know that God loved me with a supernatural kind of love. And it, and it changed the way I thought about myself and my world. And, and slowly but steadily, my, my mind and my heart was healed through his grace and his mercy. And... He taught me through his word and his Holy Spirit. And my life was no longer centered around me, you know, selfishly thinking about me and self-centered around me and what I want and what I need in this world to be happy. And, and I wanted to share this healing with others that suffer from anxiety. And I, I, I remember uh, at the time I was attending Christ Presbyterian Church and I drove over to that church office and I went into the front office and I asked if there was any way that I could help people that were suffering from anxiety and depression. And they said, no, you have to be a licensed psychologist. So from there, I drove from CPC's office into the front office of Colonial Church and um, um, an older woman 
it immediately connected me with three people in the Stevens ministry here. But I, I started attending the men's Bible study, Dudes and Donuts, uh, with, with Jeff. And I, I, I met a, a whole slew of great people there that, that have become my friends. And I, I, I wanted to share this healing with others. And uh, when I walked into Colonial Church, you know, they, they really were uh, helpful. <laughs> they were helpful to me. And uh, I, I, I started attending services here. And uh, so I, I want to just share with you, you know, when somebody comes to the church, you just never know what they're looking for, but, but they're looking for some, something. And uh, when I came to Colonial Church, uh, you know, it was really part of changing my whole life here. I hope that this story of mine uh, helps you uh, tap in to that uh, awesome, infinite power of God's love. And, and you'll want to share it with people and, you know, help them. <laughs>